All right, my sixth prediction deals with interpreting an exponential growth equation. These things are super popular on the SAT. This one might look a little fancy, but it's really not that bad. So let me just run you guys a few things you need to know. The number on the outside of the parentheses, that is your initial amount. The number that's the decimal part inside the parentheses is your percent growth. So it's a 24% growth. And then the um, exponent out here is the time. So, you know, X is in years. So it looks like this will iterate every five years because when X is five, meaning five years, then you divide by five, you get one iteration, the X one becomes one. Um, but this would be a module two problem and not everything is going to meet the I. So we have for the given function F, the value of F of X increases by P percent for every increase of X by 10. What is the value of P? Ooh, that's where the monkey wrench is thrown in because they wanna know the percentage increase when X increases by 10. Okay, so here's the key, okay? When they talk about an increase in X, you need two values, okay? You need an initial amount and then you're gonna compare it to the new amount to see how much the percent increased by. Uh, if we made X zero, that's always the best way to start. So when X is zero, essentially you have something that's zero power equals one, you're gonna get 36, okay? Cause it's gonna be 36 times one. Now, when we make X 10, what happens is we have 36 times 1.24, 10 divided by five, I'm putting 10 in for the X and that ends up being a two. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the 1.24 and I'm squaring it. So essentially I'm gonna multiply whatever number I get here by 36 and that, that's gonna tell me how many times bigger it is than 36. So that's really gonna be my answer. So I have 1.5376. So that means it's 53.76% bigger than the original amount because remember the growth happens here with the decimal, not with the one. The one just preserves the original value of 36. So there you have it. Now you can fit all five of those digits. If this is a grid and answer where you're typing in your response, you have five spaces. So you can fit five, three point, the decimal is a space, seven, six, exactly five. If you end up having a longer decimal than five spaces, what you're gonna wanna do is round the last digit. But please do not round prematurely. Fill in all the spaces unless they say round to the nearest 10th or something. Otherwise they will mark it wrong and you will lose the point after all that hard work.